What's up everybody, Derek here, and today I am gonna be looking at that boat right there. I got a buddy that asked me about bay boats and some other stuff down there. I work around the Corpus Christi area and he was asking me some questions about bay boats and I really didn't have very many answers for him. I don't really know a whole lot about them and I like checking out the aluminum boats and the bass boats and all of that stuff to kind of figure out what I want to buy, but I figured I'd help him out. I was at Bass Pro, so I, I seen this Mako over here and I figured I'd go take a look and maybe I'll learn something and maybe you guys can kind of take a look at it yourselves while we go look at it. Let's get over here. This is a sweet boat. This is a Mako Pro Skiff 19. I mean, it's a big and it's got that tri hull or not tri hull but it's got the hull underneath that is shaped awesome for running that skinny water. I said bay boat, but I don't know particularly what kind of boat, but it's got a sweet galvanized trailer on it. I like how the hull is shaped and everything else, but this is a 2021 Pro Skiff 19cc with a 115 four stroke. It's 19 foot four long, has 115 horse on it, Fuel capacity 27 gallons, the beam 7 foot 9, the whole package weighs almost right at 3,000 pounds and it holds up to 6 people. That right there is pretty sweet. But $32,220 at $383, you got to put like 10% down and usually it's like 120 months or something like that. So it's something to be aware of when you do get one of these boats, but this is a nice boat. <laughs> As you see right down the side, it's, it just looks nice. I'm sure this thing rides great in some bigger waves out in the bay. And let's see what this thing's like up in here. Oh, there's a gigantic noodle. This would be fun to drive right there. Standing, you got all your, your accessories here, all your switches for everything that you're absolutely gonna need, your navigation, everything else. You got stow it, stow stuff down in here. I don't know if that's the cranking battery. We'll look in the back here in a minute, but you've got some room down here to put stuff and it looks like there's a button up kind of hatch. Oh, and it's a breaker for the, the other battery. So there's probably another battery in the back for starting. Pretty basic, just a nice little console on it. Got tons of room. I mean, look at all of this room in here. And obviously there's some kind of seat or something that goes right in here with these. I mean, I could just walk circles up here. <laughs> it just keeps going. It's a big area in this boat. You got your cooler. That is a cooler. Nice seats. Ooh, that's comfy. And then you got a little stowing up here. Oh, not bad. What is that, the gas tank? The gas tank's in the front? What is that? I'm not sure what that is. I don't think that's a gas tank, but you got another spot for your battery right there, another spot for another battery right there. And currently there is not a trolling motor up here on the front, but it'd be very easy to put one up here, as you can see. And there is, this deck is huge. But it's definitely a nice boat. Lots of room, very simple in its design. Let's see what this hatch has got in it. Cooler, or not cooler, but live well. Got everything you need in here. It's pretty good size live well too. If you're going saltwater fishing, I've seen a lot of guys out bass fishing in these boats as well being close to the coast. And looky here, we got all kinds of room in here. So I don't know what particularly you would store in here, but there's the gas tank right there in gray. And what we got here? Bilge pump, just basic stuff that's usually in the back of a, a boat. Looks like there might be a is that a transducer vent cover down in there? This is probably the exact same thing on this side. Yeah, plenty of storage back here in the back. So all your rain gear and everything, keep it dry. Not a bad boat. 
if we go back here, look at this 115, the powerhouse of this whole boat. It would be sweet if it came with the jack plate since you might be running in that that skinny water or whatever, but look at these chimes. I think those are called chimes or sipes or whatever they're called. But look how they channel that water right down through there. So you could really get some skinny water in this thing. It's a nice boat. Well, if I was buying a bay boat or some kind of saltwater boat where it could be even a hybrid or a crossover where I'd go to the lake and then maybe go go hit up the water down on the coast. I don't know. That would be one to consider. It's pretty sweet looking and you got the warranty and tons of room. You can hold six people in that thing. So you can go have a really good time at the lake or wherever you end up going. But let me know what you guys think because maybe I missed something or maybe I went over something and I didn't realize what it was in that boat because I'm trying to learn as well here. But I at least wanted to walk through this video or this, this boat, I should say. But Thanks for watching you guys and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one.